I'll now show you how to connect a dual battery system based on the Red Arc DC DC charger to your Egan DC hub. What you do is you can connect your DC DC charger directly to the DC hub without going to a battery. To start with, you take the brown cable from the Red Arc DC DC charger and you connect it to auxiliary battery positive. Tighten it in. Next you connect the negative cable to auxiliary battery negative. Then you take the red cable and you will connect that to charger input. The yellow cable to the solar input. Please refer to the manual for the proper torque settings for the connectors. These cables are not connected directly to your DC hub. Please refer to your Red Arc user manual for proper connection of these cables. You can now connect an unregulated solar panel into this connector. Positive goes there, negative goes there. This solar panel will now use the regulator that is built in to your Red Arc DC DC charger. If you want to use an unregulated solar panel, we recommend using this connector where it says input output on the bottom and use a fuse that is according to the regulator that you connect to it. You can now connect your start battery with the cable through a fuse to this connector on the DC hub and your secondary or house battery through appropriate fuse positive and negative to this connector on the DC hub. That way all the wiring is automatically done. Everything is connected the way it should be connected. There's nothing more to do for you. Your system will now work. Please refer to the user manual of the DC-DC charger for the right fuse at the start battery. Also insert the correct fuse over here for the output of the DC-DC charger and use a 150 amp fuse for your house battery on the positive side going to the DC hub. Your installation is now done.